The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Welcome back. Squalus Marine Divers here for 2013 with the Penfield Lighthouse. It's our first dive of the season. The water today was 38, 39 degrees. And uh, we're going to go down and check out this lighthouse. Now, because the water is so cold, there isn't any plankton or algae or anything really going on in the water, so it's pretty clear. And as you can see, there's some things out here loose now. Uh, we had Hurricane Sandy back in October of last year, and uh, it really moved a lot of things around. I'm on the northern side right now, and uh, this is in between Penfield Reef. But there's a little gap between the lighthouse and the reef. A lot of people think the reef goes out to the lighthouse, but it doesn't. Down in this hole, you can see there's some debris or wreckage that's found its way and gotten smashed inside the riprap. You'll see a little bit more of that coming up. Now here again on the northern side, there's all kinds of piping and things like that. There used to be a davit crane on the northern side to lift the boat up and onto the lighthouse, and this could be part of it. There's lobster warp and things like that, rope, anchor line. And here we have a uh, bone. Uh, it's actually on the books, or it was on the books, that you could graze your cattle out on the reef. So uh, the erosion has done a fine job of taking away all that edible grass. And This is a hydroid, at least that's what my buddy Noel tells me. And uh, they only come out when it's cold. When it gets warm, these guys disappear. Some more from over here, and you'll see some more coming up. In our very first video, we did a wreck called the Penfield Wreck. Nobody's identified it yet, which is relatively close to this lighthouse. And some of this wreckage, some of this brass and copper pipe, may be from that wreck that's been pushed up here against the stones. And uh, you'll see here, this is uh, brass or copper piping. It looks like it could be a handrail. It might be actually from the lighthouse itself. Here's a small piece of porcelain that might be from a shipwreck. You can see the, the side of it is a little decorative. Ooh, dramatic. It's a ball of rope. This is a ball of rope and fishing line that's caught in between the rocks. I don't know why the music got that dramatic. Here's another piece of brass that may, be, may or may not be from a close by wreck. Hey, look, get the fishing weight. Get the, can you see the fishing weight? There it is. It's off to the right. Some people collect these and uh, them fishing weights are worth big bucks to some folks.
Now this next thing, I didn't know what it was, but I figured I'd film it. And if anybody had any suggestions, they can leave it in the comments below. Uh, it looks almost like a winch wheel or a... I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to try and guess. It's for you folks to try to determine. Now, if I'm not mistaken, one cubic yard of water is equal to one ton. So, sometimes when we get bad storms, it picks up these lobster traps and slams them right into the rocks, as you can see here. So, Jim, if there were any lobsters in here, they're dead now. But I think everybody's gone now. This is another piece of steel. The orange lets us know it's steel or iron. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb from the organic matter in the area. A little pretty fern plant thing. That's nice. It's actually rumored that Penfield Light is haunted. Uh, apparently, a long time ago, one of the lighthouse keepers was rowing a rowboat into shore on Christmas to see his family in choppy seas, and he flipped over, and now it's haunted. And here are some more hydroids, and I'd just like to remind you folks that we are in the Long Island Sound, which uh, has a little bit of a bad rep, and hopefully uh, this will make you think otherwise. Some folks have been writing in, how deep are you? Well, here we are, 15 feet. It doesn't have the temperature on, but it is cold. Now this was interesting, I... This little spiral of wire caught my eye, and then I saw this, and I was like, GOLD! But it's, I don't think it's gold, it's, I'm pretty sure it's brass. But this is what makes diving fun, you get to find stuff like this, and then you wrench it free, and then you take it up, and you, you work on it, and you see if you get any names or any dates, and that's yeah, part of the fun. And I come across, and there's this hose, there's a, actually a big power cable that supplies power to the lighthouse, it used to, anyways. And this little, little piece thing looks like some kind of a lantern or gas burner or something. Here's another big old piece of brass. Uh, I don't feel like digging it out. It looks like it's going to take a little bit of work. There's some stuff over here. Wasn't sure what that was. Fanning around. Nothing super critical. And then we get back to the north end of the lighthouse. And there's a ladder here which you can climb up and down. I wouldn't touch it because there's a lot of bolts that are pretty loose. But at this time, I'd like to say thanks for checking out our videos. We've got a great season ahead of us. We've got a new camera, we've got new lights, no more of that terrible spotlight of death. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Squalls Marine Divers, or you can go to squallsmarine.com and check us out direct. And everything kind of goes back and forth. So thanks again. I'm Captain Dennis, and thanks for watching.